Hey folks, welcome back. In the previous session, I introduced you with how do we install Streamlit, what is it, all those kind of simple uh, stuff I have explained and I have also taken you through the Streamlit homepage and I have shown you the demos that were already available there. Now it's time for us to build a very simple web application with Streamlit. I'm going to take you through a very simple web page construction with Streamlit and it's going to be expanded step by step and by the end of the session you would have completely understood how do we start with Streamlit. That's the target and you can try this out in your machine and only thing that you need is to you must have already installed Anaconda and over and above it as I told you already Streamlit should have been installed. Let's go ahead with the process of creating a very simple web page with Streamlit. Make sure that you are in Anaconda prompt, normal command prompt won't work. Let's open a simple idle page. We are going to open a simple python file. We are going to create a simple python file. Import streamlet as st. st.title. This is the title that I want on the web page. Welcome to my youtube channel Sriram Vasudevan. st is nothing but streamlet and we have already imported it. Just save it as a python file and you can see that I kept it at the path which is correct. Make sure that the path is right otherwise you might not be able to launch it. Now the file is written. This is a very simple web page that I want to run. How do we run it? Streamlit space run followed by name of the file. Streamlit space run followed by name of the file. Once you complete it, press enter and immediately you would get the page available for you. This is very nice, isn't it? You saw that right just now. So this is very, very nice. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Sriram Vastavan is available and this is made with Streamlit. This is pretty easy for anybody to uh, create and to start building and this is very easy as I told you. Now we are going to add some text to it. Right. I am going to add some content to the same file. Now let's see how do we add it. st.write hash is again comment line. Just like many other programming languages this is also comment line here. st.write and I have returned that. Some content has been added. Hi all. Hope you uh, here you uh, learn different technologies related to computer science. That's what I have added. You can see that hi is preceded with a hash. That hash tells that the first line alone should be following the same format as the previous line. I mean, it should be the header content. When you remove the hash, as you can see, it has printed. It has been printed like a normal line. So the font was normal. That's what I uh, meant to say. Now we are going to expand this further, and we will see what more can be added to this. I am going to expand this file further. We will add more content to it, and it's very easy. And we will do it right now. Now what are we going to do? We are going to add select box. What do you mean by that sir? Very simple. We are going to add options for you and this is the first one that we have already done. Here we have got a heading and followed by that I have got some text for you. Now I am adding a select box where I will have select courses option and IoT, machine learning, deep learning and python are there. Select courses, IoT, machine learning, deep learning and python and it is called select box. So. I am going to have that right now and I am refreshing the page and you could see that there is immediately a drop down menu that is coming for you and IoT, Machine Learning, Deep Learning, Python all are available for you. It's so simple. Now what am I going to do? I am going to assign this to a variable. I can do that as well. This is just like any other programming language where I am trying to assign this select box content to a variable. Now I do that. I have a variable by name course name and I am going to run it right now. Refreshing is sufficient. When I do that, I'll get an error because I have got duplicate widget ID, which means I have used st.select box twice. So you can see that there it is available twice. So we'll have to mute it down. We'll have to comment it down. The first one is commented and the second one is kept alive. Now I am going for a refreshing again. Now you see that I have got clearly available with the options. Now I have got it assigned to a variable. So assigning the assigning to a variable is the first step, but we need to print which course is selected has to be printed. So that's what I'm doing right now. So when I refresh, when IoT is selected, IoT is printed. Similarly, I'm going with machine learning. Machine learning is printed. Deep learning is printed. Python is coming right now. It's easy, isn't it? So st.write, as I told you in the earlier uh, demo, st.write gets it printed. It's very fast because a streamlit cache things which helps to run the application really faster. Now I'm going to move it to the sidebar instead of you having it in the main page. Can I have a sidebar option? Yes, st.sidebar is used for that. Now you can see that I've got sidebar available with me 
and all those are running fine. Now you have seen that st dot sidebar dot select box. Now I want sub bars sub selection option. There should be a sub menu option inside the main menu. So that's what I have tried right now. You could see that select CSE courses is available inside that option. So you can see that here. So course name is available and further you have got CSE course name available there where I can select CSE courses. So you can add widgets so easily with this approach and that's what I have told you. The first line in the code, I mean the page is import streamlet as ST. I have just printed ST.title, welcome to my YouTube channel. When it is title, it will be in a bold font as you can understand. Then I'm writing some content to it, ST.write and then I created a select box. The select box content is then assigned to a variable. Then I printed that on screen and then I created a sidebar. The sidebar is easily, it can be easily created with ST.sidebar.selectbox option and select courses will get you all those menu available for you. And then if you want another thing to be added, another sub thing to be added over there, so CSE course name can be added and it will appear next to the first side box. So CSE course name equal to st.sidebar.selectbox and select CSE courses can be given over there and further content, further menu items can be given over there. All these are to be saved and when you refresh, that's all your application. I mean, your first web page is ready for you to access. All these are done with very simple piece of coding and your Python knowledge is sufficient for you to build web apps and web pages. We are going to learn more and we can use this for machine learning and deep learning. Believe me, we are going to do that as well. We will start doing that over a period of time and this is going to be very interesting. If you like the content and if you have any queries, please go ahead and represent the same in the comment box. And if you like the channel, please subscribe. Thank you very much for your support. Thank you.